This here is the 1985 vehicle, the Sinclair C5, and I bought this recently. Well, I've discovered that the motor on it has been seized. After sitting for 40 years, I don't expect anything different, to be honest with you. So it's time to take off the motor and the gearbox and give it a good service. Basically, try and fix the motor as good as I can to make sure everything works. I tested everything by hooking up a battery. I use these. Just got some cables from Halfords, some quick release bits and tested everything by hooking it up under the key ignition section to discover it didn't work. I then clarified everything with a multimeter to see if it works. And the power is going to the motor, the motor is not turning. It's just one of those things, but it's not the end of the world. So now we're gonna take off the motor and the gearbox and we're going to give it a good service. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be releasing this, removing this whole thing, unplugging it from the box over there. As you can see, I've already removed the cover and we're gonna be taking it all apart and giving it a good service, giving it some new grease, cleaning up all the electrical components, basically making this work again and as well as that, servicing the gearbox in the process. Now, one extra thing of this is this is a challenge that we're going to be doing in the back of my van. I know, why would I be doing this in the back of the van? Well, the idea is, is I'm going to get everything off in the back of the van and then I can leave it in here overnight. The next morning, come back down, reassemble it and get everything working. My thinking is, is I don't really want this left outside overnight when I live in a flat. So, it's time to get everything removed. That's the motor, that is the gearbox. Now, I did actually take off the gearbox already and have a look at the grease and it was all okay. So, the fact that I now have to take it all apart again and re-grease everything is a little annoying considering it feels everything moves smooth, but there is an issue and we need to work that out. Make this a beauty once again because I don't really want to replace it. A new one or a used one costs as much as I paid for this. This here is the motor and the gearbox for a Sinclair C5. It twists, so it works. Something wrong with the electric. So the first thing we've got to do is we have to take this off. Now to take this bit off, we have to pry up every single one of these, which isn't gonna be great. Now the method I've seen online to get these bits up is you put matches underneath. Now I don't actually have matches, but I have taken this once off before. And I used Allen keys, very, very small, thin Allen keys, because that is what I had in the toolbox. As you can see, I've got the whole table covered in paper to protect everything. So that's one, that is two, that is three, that is four, that is number five. Well, that worked. It's out. Just move the paper back over the table. We don't want any marks on the table. Here is the inside. As you can see, it has got some grease on it. Now, this bearing, which is the beauty. Can you see it in there? There's a bearing. This moves unbelievably freely which means there is no issues with this whatsoever. Brilliant. In here, as you can see, everything moves. Look how free that moves. Absolutely, utterly beautiful. That is perfect. But it is time to delve even further into this and into the motor itself. Oh, look at that. 
that has come apart. Okay. All right, now we've got a good look inside the motor. That is spinning perfectly fine. No extra grease is even needed on that, okay. Which leads me to my next potential argument, which is the bushes. Now the, the brushes, the bushes in here, they could be a little corroded. So we do have a jump. I don't know if you can see that. It's not much of a jump, but we do have a jump, which means power is going into the cables. There we go. Now we're left with the core of the motor. Interesting, I've just noticed it's these spring. This one doesn't. Interesting. That spray. Let's just uh, adjust the camera into this. <clears throat> These. That springs out. This one doesn't. Which makes me wonder. Hello. Right. So asking ChatGBT about this, um, <laughs> which seems to be my best friend at the moment, they think it's down to this piece here, the brush. So it's either A, it's been worn down, or B, it's stuck, right? Um, and obviously there's carbon build up here, if you can see the black there. So what I need to do, as the negative comes out but the positive doesn't, um, I need to see if I can get this piece out. Now apparently, it should pop out. Or it's just worn down completely. <laughs> And this is what we're trying to work out. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use some WD-40 and I'll be back. I just don't want to make a mess in here. Right. Some WD-40 is on that now. Oh. I don't want to break it. 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 No, I don't want to break it. If you can see that, I'm just trying to use that to pull it out. That is a big old carbon build-up in there. Oh, it is actually a build-up. Oh my goodness, I can feel the spring. 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 Can you hear it? Listen. Oh, oh, oh! We got more of a spring. Yes. Go on. <laughs> yes. This will be the culprit. This right here will be the culprit because it wasn't touching this. So now that we've got that out. Oh my goodness. Right. I mean, it's going to be a nightmare to try and get it all back in, but it means it's going to work. I hope. Oh, I really, really hope. Let's clean up this bit here. I'm gonna use a toothbrush. My brother's actually, he left it here. I've, I've got my brother's toothbrush from when he was last here months ago. So, I think he used it once, so it's all good. It's just, it says I need to use 800 grit sandpaper, but I don't have any 800 grit. Got 80 grit, but not 800. And I can just use a little bit of this and just go whoop. Look at that, it's all carbon build up. You can see it becoming shiny already. Good morning, and welcome back to my workshop. So, last night I was working on this until half past 11 at night. I plugged it into a battery and guess what? It sparked to life. It sparked to life. So it was the bushes, which was stuck. Bit of cleaning up and everything has made it work, which has been great. I have now gone off and bought lithium high temperature grease. Now what I'm gonna be doing with that is I'm gonna be re-greasing absolutely everything. Cleaning up these bits, just basically, this hasn't been used in 40 years. 
So let's add some new grease on it and make sure everything is tip top condition. So I'm just going to wipe out as much as I can and re-grease it and just make this thing absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we're back here at the Sinclair C5, which I left in the back of the van overnight. We have the motor. Now, I did just tap it on a battery really quickly, and it did spin. Although, last night, maybe it's because it wasn't all put together, I felt it span a little quicker than it did just then. Which makes me a little worried, to be honest with you. Maybe I've put in too much grease. Maybe something has gone wrong in the process, and I just don't know what it is. So... Being aware of that, is it going to work in the C5? I don't actually know. I don't know. Maybe maybe I've done something, maybe it's just not working completely properly. But yeah, we have absolutely no idea if this is gonna work. Am I is there less power in it and my body's gonna hold it? I don't know. So let's uh, put it all back together and find out. I'm wiring the cables <laughs> into the back of the key box to get it started. Let's give this a shot. I'll say that was successful. 